Dinner for Wednesday night um, is just rotisserie chicken with a salad that's just uh, some spring mix with some cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, some olives, they're garlic stuffed olives there and I just tossed it with um, some olive oil. We didn't have balsamic so I used rice wine vinegar or rice vinegar and some pepper and that is Wednesday night. Good morning. It's Friday morning and these are our lunches for me and Rob. Um, Colin is at my mom's uh, since it is spring break and this is what we're taking. So Rob is taking leftover rotisserie chicken from last night with some barbecue sauce and mashed sweet potatoes. A nectarine, this is Faya Zero uh, Percent with a little dollop of um, this here. One of our souvenirs, uh, some jam from here. <laughs> so just to sweeten it up and give it a little strawberry flavor. Um, we also managed to forget that this was in our luggage. So we have some leftover, I want to say it's kind of like beef jerky. I don't know what biltong exactly is, but that's what it is. So I'm sending him with that just for snacks. I am taking um, my scrambled eggs. I'm going to add a quarter of an avocado to that. Um, and some hot sauce. I also have Faya with some jam. I have um, my chicken, just um, chicken, what's it? I guess it's called tenderloin. I don't know, but it's basically just chicken breast with barbecue sauce. I have mashed sweet, sweet potatoes as well and some green beans. These are frozen and I actually just stuck them in there frozen because I'm going to warm everything up at work. Um, I have a shake uh, that I'm going to prepare this morning, but those are our lunches for Friday. Hope you have a great week. Um, we are going to do dinner tonight. I made minestrone soup and I will show you that in a little bit. So have a great one. Bye. Just a little addition to my lunch. I'm going to throw in one of these cans of tuna just as a snack. So that is my Friday lunch. Hello. Before I show you tonight's dinner, which is Friday, um, I just wanted to let you all know that I got the days mixed up and I actually planned a third meal instead of just the two. Um, I must still be, I don't know, in England or something, <laughs> even though they're ahead of schedule. In any case, here's our dinner for Friday. Uh, the minestrone. Here's the minestrone soup. I will link the recipe below. Um, apologies. I did try to film it, but it was just really dark um, when I did last night and I was having difficulty because I think I was still really tired from all the travel and anything, everything. So in any case, this is the minestrone soup. It's super, super thick. Um, it's actually, the recipe is for a slow cooker, but I did not want to pull the slow cooker out. So I just figured I'd do it on the stove top. It's really thick and chunky. I haven't tasted it yet. Um, and I did not, I omitted the, um, the green beans. So there are no green beans in here because I thought it was just like super thick already. Um, yeah. And I'm just serving it in here with some of the baguette that I sliced up and uh, broiled. It has got some garlic butter on there. So I'm going to serve those a little toast here um, with the minestrone. And if you have real Parmesan, that would be like way better. But I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of the regular craft Parmesan and serve it with these little toasts like that. Voila, that is our dinner for Friday. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.